hello guys yes shuli and you are welcome to my kitchen today i'm going to show you a super yummy recipe that is called methi chicken in india that is actually fenugreek chicken super creamy chicken curry with fenugreek leaves and i'm not going to use any malai that means milk cream or any kind of curd so guys let's see the recipe here i have taken half bundle of methi that means fenugreek leaves wash them properly and after that i have chopped them i chopped them roughly not very finely and here i have taken half kg of chicken washed very properly and now we need to marinate it so i am taking some salt some turmeric powder and some red chili powder we don't need so much spices for this marination so now we need to mix very nicely the spices should be coated very nicely on the chicken and now it's done we need to rest it for about 20 to 25 minutes now i have kept a fry pan on the heater and i'm adding some cooking oil and now we need to take some onion and fry them so i have taken two big sized onions and sliced them we need to fry them until they are transparent in color we don't need a red or brown color this time so now they are ready so i am taking them out into a plate and we need to let them cool down and after that we make the spices now in the same pan we need to add some more cooking oil and we need to add the fenugreek leaves into the pan we need to fry them not really fry them actually we need to shrink them so i am adding the leaves We need to stir them continuously on medium heat until they are shrinked very nicely. The volume should be decreased and now it's ready. Let's keep the pan aside and go for the spices process. So I have taken a mixer grinder jar. Our onions are uh, nicely cooled down now. I am adding the onions into the mixer jar and now two green chilies, two medium sized tomatoes roughly chopped. I am going to add some dry coconut because I am not adding any curd or milk cream. So I am adding this but you may take some cashews or white sesame seeds instead or you may add some curd if available or if you want. So now I am going to cover the jar and make a smooth paste. We don't need any water because we added tomatoes in the paste and our paste is ready as you can see. Let's keep it aside and go for the main process for the pan. So we need to add some cooking oil in the pan. When the oil is heated well, we need to add some jeera that means cumin seeds. 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds, 2 to 3 bay leaves. After the cumin seeds are crackled well, we need to add some ginger garlic crush. I have crushed them but you may add the paste, there is no problem. The heat should be on medium to low and after adding ginger garlic we need to stir it very nicely for about 10 to 12 seconds only and after that we need to add the spices mixture that means spices paste. I am adding it and now we don't need to add any water. So without water we need to clean the jar and add the spices very nicely. I am going to wash the mixer jar and add the water later. So now without water we need to cook the spices and with these spices we need to add some more spices, more powder spices. So at first I am adding some salt according to taste, 1 4 teaspoon of turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon of coriander powder, red chilli powder according to taste and half teaspoon of garam masala. I am going to add some more garam masala at the end of this recipe. Without water we need to cook the spices for about 2 minutes now and after that we are going to add the chicken here. So now after 2 minutes I am going to add the marinated chicken into the pan and we need to mix everything nicely and after that I am going to cook it with a lid. So now I am covering it on medium to low heat until oil is released from the spices. So now oil is released as you can see. After stirring nicely I am going to add some water for gravy. And this is the water I have taken washing the mixer jar. The spices water. And now I am adding more water as needed. Add the water quantity according to your choice. How thick you want your gravy. 
so i need some more water i am adding some more water and after that i am going to cook with lid again after mixing nicely i am covering the pan on medium heat i have cooked the curry for about 10 to 12 minutes and after 12 minutes this is the texture the chicken is cooked very perfectly and now i am going to add the fenugreek leaves the fried fenugreek leaves slightly fried fenugreek leaves after adding the fenugreek leaves we need to cook the curry for about 5 to 6 minutes again not more than that if fenugreek leaves are overcooked they may be bitter in taste so don't overcook them after mixing nicely i am going to cover the pan again for about 5 to 6 minutes after 5 minutes this is our curry the gravy consistency is perfect after cooling down it will be more creamy and thicker so now i am going to add some chopped fresh coriander leaves here are some i am adding them and now i am going to add some garam masala again so i am adding half teaspoon of garam masala if you add some garam masala again at the end of this recipe it will give you a super delicious flavor and now i am adding some sugar about half teaspoon of sugar i have added this sugar will balance the sour taste of the tomatoes so now after mixing nicely we need to cook the curry again for about 1 minute and after that our curry is ready so we need to turn the heat off and wait for about 10 minutes before serving after 10 minutes of rest this is the texture of the curry it is super creamy now and thicker than before so let's serve the curry so guys you have seen that the recipe is super easy and it's super delicious with boiled rice roti chapati paratha naan and any kind of indian staple dish so guys try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to share your experience with me hit the like button guys if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching hope to meet you in the next video bye bye take care